Okay, so the action on radio is what I give to you anytime you see me sitting like this here on Samiflex TV. And because I know sometimes you are so busy during the day, you don't even get time to listen to what we do on radio. I have introduced this particular segment called the highlights of Showbiz Agenda. Here, what I do is whatever we did on Xylophone 102.1 FM on a special program called Showbiz Agenda, I give you all the highlights. I know you might not have time to listen to on a three hour program. So what I do is I come down, call my team and we say that people would want to hear this they want to see this we piece them together for you to enjoy it is called the highlights of showbiz agenda so today's episode is going to give you one of such taken from xylophone fm showbiz agenda all that you have to do is to sit relax enjoy and still get the moment just as it was live on radio i did this with my team led by digital star currency which flex yeah lapiji nana reagan in team dodo solomon aka chamo and mc berima as well now you have to relax and anytime you want to know what is happening on xylophone fm this is what you have to do subscribe to this channel sammy flex tv get all the updates and even if you are not able to listen to what we do on radio, you get a chance to watch it here on Samiflex TV later. Enjoy the moment and you can always share your comments with us here on the show. Enjoy and let's do more. We out. Ani eye no kre wapo mudin hu hia enu nti ne ho akohia sa wo be hwe wo hu so yi wo bra no bra no ne mra emu odin ameto wo mpofiri now permit me to introduce you to green select glucometer green select glucometer from costless ventures sa fi di kitu ya eti mi mpo e hwe wo boto mi e bo ama hu hu sugar level abrebia wona wo diabetes ana yaria ho do a e ma wo sugar level e so te wo bra no bra no sa fi di e be bo nka ye be bibia wo bia no ada wo so akoh hu doctor ntem na wo adura e bit me ma blood sugar no aye pepe pepe with Green Select Blood Glucose Monitoring System, you get your test results in five seconds. I knew five seconds. Pet now results are ready. And it's suitable for persons of all age. Nani boso di? Hmm. Head the fuck. What people doing who yell? Sao pe ba ko ana sao pe so tu koton. Call Costless Ventures now on zero two zero five nine one five three one five. Oh fry a bet you we office a Ben Wagana fine baby ah na uni wone dija. Green Select Glucometer, the best. This advert has been verted and approved by the FDA. Adam, once again, let me welcome you. Let me welcome you and um, be careful the way Kofia Samara is seated very close to you. Hope your bag is safe though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. The money and everything in there is safe, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's why I'm, I'm telling her to be very safe. Uh, Fantana, your mic can come up a little bit. Oh, okay. um, when was the last time we met? I think it's been a long while. Yeah, like the whole of last year, did we meet? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no. Wow, <laughs> where were you hiding? Where were you hiding? Because me and you, at least every year, we meet like twice or so to do our things <laughs> it's not on radio. I mean, we don't meet any other oh. last year. Uh, are you sure it's last year? Uh, that's why we are asking. That's what that's why I'm asking that whether we met last year. So, where, where were you hiding if we never met? Where were you hiding? I don't know. I've been around. Mm -hmm. I've been in Ghana. I was just at home. Mm. I've been inside. <laughs> you, you decided to take a break for music? Um, not a break, but um, COVID came anyway, so it stopped a lot of things. And so I just took the time to, um, you know, work on myself. Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, there was COVID, but still your colleagues were releasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of them took advantage of even the situation, knowing that people are at home. Mm -hmm. They give us small songs. Yeah. Uh -huh. So in your situation, you decided not to at all. Um, I just felt like I rather just come with a good song, like a big song, rather than just to keep releasing songs and then mm -hmm. trying to figure out which one is good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like me taking my time and having it the way I want to and everything would make me feel good. So that's why I just took my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you busy with? electioneering campaign uh not really <laughs> <laughs> because I, I knew you were helping mom for mm -hmm. the constituency she won mm -hmm. what was uh, your actual role what, what did you actually do um uh, i don't know i think <laughs> i made people like her i guess or like okay. um and then Zima, i went over there and i went there with chatawale as well mm -hmm. when i was getting close to the end of the campaign mm -hmm. and we were just there and we spent like two days there 
and just like with the people there mm. to help her. So, yeah. so ca can we say that um, Fantana's inclusion in the campaign also helped in your mom winning the Jomoro constituency? Uh, yeah, I tell her all the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you tell her all the time mm. that you contributed yeah. in her winning. So what does it mean? You, you've taken your cut already. <laughs> Not yet, but I have told her. You've taken your cut of the SBI share in advance. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, could you have done it alone? For instance, you are also an artist, an mm. established name. Could you have done it there without Shatawale's inclusion? Um, yeah, I've been there without him multiple times. Like, cause that's where my mom was raised. So I just go there to visit my family members. So whenever I'm there, then the people are happy to see me. So him coming also made it very. Mm. Yeah, so nice. those times when you were going there alone, were you performing? Because when Shata came, he mm. performed, I guess. Yeah, he performed. No, I just spent most of the time like um, helping out with stuff. Or I would go to like the hospital because there's only one hospital there. So when there's time, I would go there and help out with the stuff and like help out with the town stuff and everything. Yeah. But you didn't perform until no. Shata came. <laughs> I didn't perform even when he came. Either. Oh, even when Shata came, you did not perform. But I saw you uh, with um, him uh, on, on yeah. the vehicle. You guys were still in yeah. town. You did that one, but I did not perform. Why? Because I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> because you are also an artist. You have some song, and the stage mm. was prepared. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the stage was prepared that <laughs> some of us would want to see you there. Yeah. You decided not to. Why? What? What really was the advice? Oh, nothing. I just didn't want to. I was tired, and then it was like a long drive and everything. And he didn't know he was gonna perform either. I think it was like a surprise thing. And then mm -hmm. when he got there, then he just went ahead and did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the near future, are you also likely to contest that seat? Since now your mom has it, maybe she will be able to have it in the next one or two election yeah. uh, calendar. Are you also thinking that one day you wake up and say, after mom, or maybe mm -hmm. after? some time mm -hmm. you're also going for the seat uh yeah i thought about it a, mm -hmm. a few times mm -hmm. not now though but like maybe like second third <laughs> <laughs> so you think one day you go for it yeah yeah one day i could go for it mm. are you are you preparing yourself are you learning uh, what what are you doing so that you get prepared for that day um i go with her to like when she's going to uh, what it sorry the constituency yeah constituency mm -hmm. in the par parliament Mm -hmm. house and stuff yeah to her office mm -hmm. and she teaches she shows me different things and she introduces me to like the other mps and stuff over there and i mm -hmm. just learn different things from them so mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. i see in the near future should mom advise that because of maybe the career she has started uh drop music to support her administratively since you have the skill and the know-how would you do that yeah of course i would do it you drop music like to support my mom uh -huh. yeah of course of course hey. <laughs> then really you mean this political thing <laughs> just for her just for her yeah, just uh, for and her. when she is out of the scene you are not going for it anymore <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's also a dangerous thing to do yeah <laughs> it means you are giving your fans you are not giving us that assurance mm. that oh, we should we should follow you with all the heart no type. you should follow me with all the heart type yeah. <laughs> but one day you just wake up and break our heart that you are going to do politics you oh know? no no not anytime soon it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be anytime soon yeah. Yeah. But it is likely to happen one day. Yeah, very far away one day. <laughs> we are interested. We are following it up. Yeah. And again, at a point, you introduced something you called what, Skin by Fantana or so. Mm. Um, is it on the market already or it is yet to appear? Um, it's yet to appear on the market, but it's a skin, my um, skincare line that I started during the COVID period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As in your own company? Yeah, my own company. Yeah. So it's registered. Skin by Fantana, yeah. You've registered it or yet to? No, I registered it. And is the product out of the market? Um, it was, but everything sold out, and I haven't brought any more back yet. Oh, mm -hmm. so you started selling? Yeah, yes, I've already. But started. it is on hold now. Yeah. Why? What is happening? I'm not. You know, like you, when it sells out, you have to like restock and everything. But mm -hmm. now I have to. I'm back doing my music, so I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Music is making you so busy, <laughs> keeping you so busy. So you're not getting. <laughs> Okay, so you started it. Mm -hmm. Looking at what you've also done in music, the investment in music and the investment in the skin by Fantana, which one was bringing in huge revenue or big revenue? 
Oh, I mean, but like, <laughs> but but I mean, the skincare thing is a business, so regardless, people will buy it, so it always comes. So even if I restock it now and it sells out, I have to keep restocking it. So mm, yeah. Mm, mm. And where ladies, especially celebrities, where they also coming in to support because if it is a business of another celebrity, I expect them to come in to support. Where, yeah. Who came around to support you among your <laughs> friends in the music fraternity? Oh, in the. Um, <laughs> because i know most of your friends they have a skin like you have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so who came around to support the project i don't i don't know i don't i don't think it, i don't know unless maybe like you know when you're ordering it you don't have to use your name to order it so i don't know if maybe they ordered it through someone else or something but mm. not directly to me no mm. so, so what does it make you feel that you start something and your colleagues are not showing support what does it make you feel no i don't really care yeah, I don't care. I don't care. There's, there's a lot of people in this world, so other people will buy it at the end uh -huh. of the day, yeah. Oh, not even just buying it alone. Maybe but supporting, supporting it. Supporting in terms of publicity, right, just right, as right. they've been doing for other products. They could also do it for skin by Fantana. Yeah. And, and personally, I did not see anybody doing That's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Or oh, is it because you are not friends with them? No, I'm cool with them. But for me, like, it's just biz like business. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you don't want to, then... Mm. Yeah, but were you also having plans to at least get some one or two people on board to come support the project? Because looking around, I know there are more fair skin ladies in our music space, in our movie space that you could have maybe called um, mm. the uh, Benedicta Gaffa and Co. You could have invited all of them to be part of. Yeah. Did you extend an invitation to them as well? No, I will because I started it like I was testing to see mm -hmm. like how it would go and it went well. Mm -hmm. So now like I will do everything and put more into it because when I first started I. I was just doing it to see like okay i have nothing to do during the COVID period so let me just try something and see how yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so we are waiting for it <laughs> let it come and you know what to do still let, let's go back into time still on fantana um at a point you also decided to go help children um should i call them children when your issue happened at the on the stage i think that one performance you had some wardrobe malfunction decided to do some part donation that you said you would continue are you still doing it or it's or it's also on hold oh no <laughs> <laughs> that one was just like uh, some like i went to a town that was a bit outside of accra i think mm -hmm. where they can't really get pads and stuff and so because that incident happened then um i got um invited to come over there mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. with them and everything mm -hmm. and then we donated like a lot of pads but it's something that i would want to start maybe like an ngo type of thing that i would mm -hmm. want to start with my name and everything like mm -hmm. yeah in the future Okay, so for now, after the first one, you've not done any again. Yeah. But it is something you'd want, want to, to do, yes. As an NGO in your name. Yeah. Fantana, how would you call it? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> the usual Fantana Foundation or uh, the FF. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do the usual way the fantana foundation or yeah. maybe you are going I'll to find a different name you'll find a yeah. different name oh mm. i see <laughs> I, I i want you to do more of that because yeah. i i loved that idea when i saw it and again there was an organization that supported you then i guess yes. uh, why have you cut ties with them are oh you? no no whenever they do stuff or whenever those things that are going on and maybe i can be involved in it they reach out to me so mm -hmm. they do a lot of different things mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay now which record label i is fantana on now that your comeback is real which record label is fantana working with now none i'm independent okay i'm an independent artist so i'm not signed to anyone okay so yeah. what for instance when you go on to youtube uh it is going to be fantana music i guess yeah just fantana just fantana yeah and uh you have all your old videos there no so all my old videos are still on uh, town. rough town yeah but anything that i release ongoing mm -hmm. is under my youtube channel yeah. from henceforth yeah anytime, from henceforth, yeah. anytime you release something we will find it under fantana, fantana. Yeah. so what happens to royalties of the old videos oh like we of course we have an agreement and everything like when you're terminating you have agreements and how you're going to share everything and stuff like that so we're mm -hmm. fine on that mm -hmm. yeah. so if you've been receiving your fair share yeah all of us are <laughs> <laughs> calculation is going down yeah. the way you want <laughs> Sometimes listen to you, your songs, <coughs> you use more patois, patois in your composition. And I ask myself, um, is Fantana doing dance hall? What really is Fantana doing in terms <laughs> of uh, her composition and the genre that she would want to be recognized with? 
Um, so I would say when I first started, I think I was trying every different type of sound, so like Afro B or maybe like Afro dance and everything, but. I'm more of an Afro dance hall person, so I'm just gonna stick to doing that. I feel like that's where I'm better off at, and it's not like I don't I don't have competition with anybody or anything, and I have peace of mind to just you know mm. do what I want to do. Mm. Yeah. So now we should categorize you under Afro dance hall. Yeah, Afro dance hall. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Are we about to listen to the new one? <laughs> and I'm sure to confirm that. And again, when you were at Rough Town, you used to be uh, supported by Bullet in terms of composition. So <coughs> do you have another person doing that now? Yeah, so my manager, Turas, he actually already started writing songs for me while I was still on Rough Town. Mm -hmm. So he wrote um, Rich Girl Anthem, New African Lady, Black Cyber, and he also wrote the new one. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's no Darling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so now Turas is in that position. Yeah. I see. <laughs> He's a bad man. Yeah. <laughs> no, no Darling. I, I, I saw the title. I said, oh, yeah. could it be that I didn't know there was another No Darling song in the system or what? Because there is another No Darling song in the system by Keche. Did you yeah. know about it? Yeah, I like that song. It's very nice. But I also didn't want to change the title of my song. Oh, so I just okay. kept it, yeah. Oh, oh, so you knew about it? Yeah, yeah. their song is really, really nice. Yeah, But I didn't oh. want to change my title. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to share. Because that was the only option left or what? No, that's just what I felt like I wanted. It. Like it stood out with the song and what the song is about and the content. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to change it. So mm -hmm. I just kept it. D did you get your title? before their song or you got it after their song um i don't know because i don't know when they recorded theirs but i know when i recorded mine so i would say like i recorded it months ago actually mm -hmm. and it was named that but mm -hmm. i don't know how long they had theirs mm. yeah. and, and ever since it came out have you gotten some one or two confrontations maybe from fans or from artists talking about oh there is a no darling which is hot in the system and fantana is also bringing another no darling any confrontation like that um no people don't really confront me people don't confront me. they don't confront yeah. you including men because that other day said <laughs> men were even scared <laughs> you said men were even scared to confront mm. oh now the story has changed oh no they're still scared they're just there i don't know oh, oh, <laughs> i'm, I'm oh, nice uh, maybe, 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 maybe maybe you have to reduce the packaging some more maybe the packaging is so huge that's why that's why the guys are running away <laughs> but why, why do you think it is hard for men especially let's talk about let's ignore the fans not confronting you <laughs> why is it so difficult for men to con why do you think it's so difficult for men to confront you uh i don't know maybe my like my attitude is very like sassy i don't know so like mm -hmm. you know men like if they say one they don't want you to say two but mm -hmm. i'm gonna say two mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's gonna go back and forth mm -hmm. yeah. so do, do you like that <laughs> or, or you wish it was it wasn't like that I it's cool that it saves me time from people talking to me for no reason and the people that can't talk to me then that means it's worth talking to them because yeah <laughs> <laughs> but every lady every lady would want to be appreciated every lady would want oh i went there and i saw guys were showing interest in me it mm -hmm. gives them some confidence of a sort and in your case that no one is coming because maybe they are scared of something that's oh, but i know that they like me like for me you don't have to tell me that you're interested i know you're interested how do you know? Because who wouldn't like me? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? Everyone likes me. Who wouldn't like me? Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, that one, that one, you can't be so sure. Or is it, is it because they look at you? So that that is to you, your conclusion of they liking you? Um, No, but I mean, like if you're looking at someone, I just know. Mm. I just know, yeah. Mm. Or even mm. if you don't like me, at least you know that I'm beautiful. So yeah, fine. yeah. No, yeah. for beautiful, I'm not sure someone can even contest yeah. it. You are so beautiful. <laughs> the guy in your new video, who is he? Oh, uh, he's a model. Mm -hmm. He lives in Ghana, but he's not Ghanaian. He's from Guinea, I think. Yeah. He's from Guinea. Yeah. Um, was everything okay during the shoot? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was really shy. That's yeah. what I'm about to talk about. He That's was what very I'm about shy. To talk about. <laughs> Why was he shy? I don't know. See, it's me. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, Fantana, that it will be very difficult for you to get a boyfriend, though. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you have one package already. Oh, no. You don't have one package already. Yeah, boyfriend. No, I don't have one. And now the guys are also scared to come forward. Mm -hmm. And you are you also double as a celebrity. <laughs> Maybe I bet you. Mm. But is your mom not requesting that? Fantana, you are of age. When are you introducing your boyfriend to me or something? <laughs> is your mom not asking? Uh, yeah, she asked, but I mean, I tell her to relax. Just chill. You told her to relax? Yeah, soon. 
Oh, <laughs> and wh- why was why, why was the model shy? Because personally, yes, I watched the video. Yeah. And I saw the, I saw it clearly. That's why I asked you: Was everything okay on set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He why was, was he shy? I don't know. He was really, really shy. Like he was scared. I don't know why though. He didn't know you. Was that was that the first time? He yeah, that was the first time he heard yeah. about Brand Fantana. That was the first time he ever saw me in person. But know? he knew. But about he knew. Yeah. But why did you also not give him more confidence? Like I did. You tell know? him that. Oh, bring your hand. Hug me. Touch me. Everyone was telling him to, but he was just shy. Yeah. Okay. Next time. Next time. Please look for another guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look for one of the Ghanaian models mm, that are not shy. Yeah, they they won't be shy. They will surely <laughs> come forward. And the first time we met, you also talked about your cooking abilities not being very on point. Therefore, you'd want a guy who could cook for you and all that. I know it has been some good years after the first time. Has it improved? Has your cooking skills improved now? Yeah, they have. They have. So now, what can you do perfectly? Like, what kind of food or meal can you pe- can you <laughs> prepare perfectly? Um, it depends on what I feel like eating. Uh huh. Yeah, I can make a stew. Uh huh. Yeah, I can boil eggs. <laughs> oh, eggs, yeah, everyone. And I can that. make a stew, and uh, I can make rice. You can make rice. Uh, <laughs> 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 Who helped you? Who helped you in uh, polishing your cooking skills? Oh, well, during, like, the lockdown and stuff, like, I couldn't really, like, go out, so I had to, I had to force myself to, um, mm-hmm. learn how to cook. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so, so it happened during the lockdown. Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, but when you started, were you loving yourself, what you were cooking, what you were preparing? No. You were not liking it. <laughs> so, so what do you do after, after preparing the food, what, you throw it away because... No, I'll just eat, <laughs> eat some of it. <laughs> I didn't like it. You just be forced to eat yeah. it. Yeah. No, you didn't like it. It's sad. Over. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. At least we are happy that Fantana is back in the business again. So whilst we were out a little bit, what did you observe? What observation did you make out of our industry? Um, it was just dull. You thought the industry was dull, eh? Yeah, it was so quiet and stuff. Mm-hmm. Nothing was really like going on. So mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to take my time then. <laughs> nothing is going on. <laughs> oh, okay. So because you felt that the industry was dull, there was mm-hmm. not even pressure on you to. Yeah, I just felt like there wasn't pressure since it's dull. Mm-hmm. When I'm ready to release, then I'll just release it. <laughs> mm, and yeah. now is the time. Yeah. How about performance? Have you also learned more performance? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I also took that time out too to, um, you know, get over my shyness and my fear and stuff because I felt like the fear I had was overshadowing uh, my talent. Mm-hmm. It was holding mm-hmm. me back from mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. like all the things I know I can do. So I would say now my confidence is like, mm-hmm. yeah, of the roof. yeah. So so practically, what were you doing? How <clears throat> did you learn practically? What were you doing? Because I know some people they tell me, oh, they stand in front of the mirror, yeah. they perform, they shout. How were you also doing it? I yeah, wish that's to know. the best way. Mm-hmm. Like you just stand in front of your mirror and you jump and you shout and you just let everything out. Yeah. <laughs> How long did you do that? Oh, I mean, I kind of I do it every day, you know. But like maybe for like thirty minutes or twenty minutes, I'll just play different songs over and over. Mm-hmm. Asking your songs. Yeah, my songs, and then maybe like other dancehall songs, like other mm-hmm. artists, bigger mm-hmm. artists in Jamaica and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause I like to listen to them to also, you know, mm. learn different things. And, and, yeah. and after that, who marks you? After doing all that, who marks you to say, okay, today <laughs> you did fifty percent. Yesterday you did twenty percent. Who marks you? Myself. Oh, yeah. then I'm sure you'll be giving yourself higher marks. No, no, I, I criticize myself a lot, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so for information fantana is back give her the stage and she's prepared give her the microphone and she's prepared what else she's going to kill everybody come back to the studio and still ask some more questions after that i'll introduce I my men <laughs> onto the platform yeah. as well to be part of the discussion now fantana do you think you were challenged on this song more than your previous songs um yeah and on this song i actually sing on all the keys that yeah higher than what i usually do yeah, because i can yeah yeah i yeah. can reach them i know yeah. your first song uh what, what was the name of your first uh, song? so what yes yeah y- you were relaxed on the beat yeah, yeah you did not do any other thing but this one i saw you going high and yeah. down and mm-hmm. i felt that you were more working with the voice on right. this song yeah. now about tree in, in in somewhere you were doing some lines in tree have you improved <laughs> yeah 
what, was it difficult getting that point um, that yeah it block? was uh-huh. we took it like over and over at one point we were just gonna cut every uh-huh. word and just uh-huh. put it together but then i finally got it oh so yeah. now you've gotten it yeah so can you do that one just alone the tree part alone <laughs> uh uh-huh. what is it uh-huh. i say i'll bet my i'll bet see that's what happened in the studio i say i'll bet my miss you and uh-huh. oh <laughs> don't mind them don't mind because you don't want to tell someone mm-hmm. i just want to the tree i just want the tree alone uh-huh. i said okay uh-huh. i say i'll bet my miss you and then make up because I could say, did it, did it. Oh my goodness. But you've been in Ghana for some time now. Yeah. You should be catching up with it. I do, I try. I do, I try and speak as much as I can, but it, just, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I understand them. <laughs> <right? laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Beautifully delivered. This is no dolly. Now let me come home. Uh, maybe let me start from the far end where your gray is comfortably perching. Yeah. Uh, question contribution to Fantana. Yeah, I just have one question. I just want to mm-hmm. uh, ask: Do you have like, do you have friends in the industry? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm cool. Yeah, I'm nice to everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't like hang out. Okay, I'm close with Effia. Okay. Yeah, I hang out with her outside of music, mm-hmm. but she lives like five minutes away from me, so we're very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I, th- I think I like the answer because yeah. ice is cool, but not everybody likes ice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Actually, that's all I wanted to ask. Yeah. So I don't mm-hmm. know, brothers, do the rest. Okay. So wh- what do you want her to do? Do you want her to have friends, or you don't want her to? I think if she does the cheating won't be a problem because mm-hmm. ah, we have okay. uh, not really to have musicians as your friends but mm. people who know about what you're doing and mm. has that mind say mm. okay mm. this is the reason mm. oh, we are trying to come more mm. to really help her do the job she mm. wants to do mm. so that was my whole thing about okay. it okay yeah. perfectly said let me move on to kobe che kobe che question contribution to fantana mm. Mm. yeah so two questions I, I saw her trending uh, a few days ago, uh, Fantana trending, so mm-hmm. I decided to check it out. So, and so I noticed that she had dropped a new song, okay. so I sat down mm-hmm. to listen to it. Mm-hmm. And um, I like the, I mean, where you were going back and forth with her in regards to her voice ranges, mm-hmm. because she, she has this the tone, like down tone voice, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. this song, she yeah. was trying to go a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I went out to ask, what key did you sing on this particular one? Mm. Um, well, you know, honestly, I when I was in the thing, mm-hmm. like I sang it low at first, yeah, and then I backed it. So when I was backing it, I just sang really high mm-hmm. over, and it came mm-hmm. out nice. I don't know, I don't even know what I, I just did it. And then I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. But I think it's higher than C. I usually sing on C, like because my voice is deep. So okay. I think I was a bit above that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So who produced the song? Uh, Mix Master Gazi. Master Gazi. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'll advise that when artists enter the studio and they are making the song they should try and educate them in regards to their key ranges let them know what mm. they are singing because mm. this particular one like it's a very high a flat major mm-hmm. and so if you go if you're an artist mm-hmm. and if you move to the yeah, studio I, 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 I think that it should be established you should know mm-hmm. the key that you are working mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. if you're an artist and I ask you what key did you sing mm-hmm. in your own song mm-hmm. and you tell me you don't know, that is a big embarrassment. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you're a musician, you need to know mm-hmm. the key you are singing. Mm-hmm. And it will help you. I mean, imagine if you're going to perform uh, on a TV or like a live band mm-hmm. and you meet the band. You're supposed to tell them, okay, so I recorded this song yeah. in this key. So I think that if you guys play this particular key, it will yeah, help you. Okay. So that it will save you from certain browsing. We've seen mm-hmm. artists mm-hmm. who anytime mm-hmm. they are playing with live band, I mean, they get confused with their live um, mm-hmm. um, stage mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Again, 
what are you also doing to build your fan base? Mm-hmm. What are the steps? What are you doing as Fantana to build your fan base? Uh-huh. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Come, ah. what, what, what was your question, Papa? What was your question, Papa? Max and uh-huh. she's doing the music. Huh? What is she doing to build okay. an organic fan base to have okay. a fan base for herself? Okay, it's actually it's actually connected to oh, okay. a statement someone also posted here. Um, one 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 Michael King Ashes. I'm sure that is um, yeah. oh. your Grace featured artist. He says she's such a darling. Oh, yeah. But she should try and interact with her fans more on social media. E- exactly. Uh-huh. I do. <laughs> Some of them miss it. <laughs> hey. uh-huh. so, yes. So you I think, think she's not interacting? Yes. Huh? The engagement is low. Uh-huh. And anytime you hear from internet, that is when, I mean, or the new mother. So, we find you on the phone. So, you can get it. Okay, I'll uh-huh. bet it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is that uh-huh. don't always wait mm. to release record before you interact with your fan base. Mm. It should be like a deliberate attempt to engage your fans so that even when you're not releasing, yeah. I mean your fans will always go back and forth also, I mean talk about you to to protect you. Yeah. I mean your brand and all that. But please it should be a conscious effort to build a solid fan base for yourself. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Chi. Adam, Mr. Chatobe, take over. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I think this, uh, proud to you asking that question about... Which of the questions? Uh, no, trying to know the kind of Jenna. Uh-huh. I was about to tell her, mm-hmm. after listening and watching some of her songs, I, I felt within me that it will be better she she does the dance or th- thing because... I see her comfortable there, mm-hmm. and I can see she can break a lot of grounds with that. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't surprised when she gave the answer that she's tilted towards Afro dancer. Yeah. So for me, I think that is her her strong point, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she should hit there well, and it can work out for him. And with 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 regards to the engagement, I think she needs it very very well because. When she came, Fantana, she came with some verve. Then all of a sudden, it's like she was going on a slow pace. She curled back, and it's like he quench, she quenched that verve, mm. and we want it back. You know, she 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 has that natural attraction to the fans. So if she keeps the fire. I think it can work for her. When you asked her about dropping the song, she was saying that because of the COVID and other things, and uh, she doesn't. She's a person who doesn't like just dropping the song. But I think he needs to. She needs to change the, the the dynamics because as a new artist, you need a lot of songs. You need a lot of repertoire. Like if she had a lot in the repertoire. I think within that time she could have organized her own virtual concert mm. and play a lot of song, do a lot of live performance. So, as a young burden artist, clearly you need the songs. So don't slow, uh, slow like mm-hmm. maybe an artist who has been there for a decade, who who you know release as and when. Mm-hmm. You need to release because you need that coming. repertoire mm. for other gigs. Mm. You cannot. There should be a point you should stand on stage for like 30 to one hour mm-hmm. performing your song mm. you know so you need that you know i know the team need to you know get her you know push her to it you know to release the song yeah push her to no, it but i think you know? i think i think i now see she's about to do more yeah um if you have been following brand fantana you know that over the years she's also gone through some one or two issues here and there with her former label yeah. so maybe now she's settled and she's gone out of all those things the road is now clear for her yeah yeah and we i'm need, expecting more we need the fire she has the artistic looks mm-hmm. she has the voice mm-hmm. now what she needs is the work Okay, I will get there. Thank you. And then, Mr. Chat to me. Kofi Asamoa, continue for me. Yo, Basame, I'm a bit of a bit of a Fantana, who is a cap? Who's a seminar? A quick program of Abasum. Batakoso, Koso. And some of you share the Kobitia Kaye, the Mudrufa. 
any day at them kind of you will ask me. <laughs> but what, what were you expecting her to do? I said, "Me tell me, be like she can't be bothered <laughs> at all." Like, but what, what were you expecting her to say? I said, "I'm I'm bothered." Mona Mona Mobley. Mona Mobley. Mona Mobley. Are you too afraid? Oh yeah, Jinny, you are coming. Oh my God, you're cute. No, no, I don't, I don't want to agree. What say? What say? Oh yeah, Jinny. Imagine any no, it's not oh, yeah, because no that, ah, is, not the, the no, that is not true. Don't you do music? Doesn't music make you happy? Yeah, it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, Kofi, wait. Let, let's put it right because you started in three, maybe she missed some point. Yeah, make now, now, Fantana, this is what he, he no, said. Let me say it myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> say it in English, don't say it in three. She, she's doing music for fun to keep her happy. and not as a profession. Wait. She's doing not as busy, but she's doing it for fun because it also makes her happy. True or false? A- and as a profession. Yes. <laughs> and as profession. a profession. And as a profession. And as a profession. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. 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 And you know, I understand. You are Ghana. You are the two American. And I met you. And I met met you. Nasi, we are American. I like her energy. She is like free spirited. I am. Ah, that be that be. Muna mobile. 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 She, she says things as and when she wants to. And all her son was sitting there. For her son was sitting there. Because now can I speak English? Yeah. I, no, no, I, I want her to understand everything you are saying. So okay. she has a response. But she understood, don't you understand? No, no, but she might some not get some, some of them. Yeah. 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 Say, uh-huh. I'm saying that uh-huh. you are very free spirited. You like to say and tell your mind. And be very expressive mm-hmm. and looking at you judging from <coughs> afar it will be very difficult working with you mm-hmm. no. you are you are the type that will be difficult working with because we want to once i say me no dollar i say when you because he's made up her mind say man it's a title no? mm-hmm. she doesn't care about the economic implications mm-hmm. she doesn't care about the business <laughs> implications. she doesn't mm-hmm. care about the creative <laughs> connotation she doesn't uh, okay yeah. one thing mm-hmm. oh see only time but and it's not like the other out no, was not a hit it was a super big hit one of them and from you american american thinking <laughs> say this so to us I'm not changing it. It's fine. <laughs> Mommy, no, we using no dollar. No. It's fine. So all two hours can do is, you know what? It's fine. Since that's what you want, it's fine. Good. Now let's go. <laughs> no, that's not what he does. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So, so, I uh, 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 assumption. Uh, no. I'm not saying it as a fact. Okay. Uh, assumption, keke, na me making. And me, me, I'm saying this to make a point to say. Mm-hmm. In as much as I don't work with you, and I don't know how working with you even would be like, I'm, everything I'm saying is, uh, I, I'm, I'm making you mean, yeah. an assumption based on mm. interacting with you now. Inference, yeah. Yes. Mm. And so what I'm saying is, sometimes you need to let your own self go and keep the interest of the people for whom you are making the music at that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there are certain things your management will tell you <coughs> you don't have to understand. Sometimes the reason you don't have to understand is you have to learn to trust the decisions of management. They are there for a reason. There are certain things they will see, they will hear. You made a point, say, um, uh, I, I don't know who, who asked. Mm-hmm. Um, who said uh, you don't? People can't confront you. Yeah, they won't I, confront you, I but they will confront people. Michael Turas. Mm-hmm. They won't confront you, but they confront this young man mm-hmm. you worked in with. Mm-hmm. They won't confront you, but they will confront the people around you. Mm-hmm. And so when these people around you are telling you certain things, you have to know that they have basis. Mm-hmm. Maybe they will not be able to explain or express the kind of 
feedback they get, they get. to you. Mm. But indeed, it is very important because you see, the way you are, especially who sang to you, mm. a, a, a mama who working with you will not be same as working with every other person. And so, even before I move to your music, I just want you to see your management as your bosses, mm. not you being the boss. <laughs> The moment that comes in, two hours will not last working with you. Mm -hmm. All the people around you will leave. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to feel that, oh no, this is what I want, and you know, well, this is what I got to do, yeah. and this is how I want it. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Sometimes they have to push you to move out of your comfort zone. And consistency in your music uh, career, you know, you're, you're a growing brand. And for a growing brand like you, you are not at your peak yet. I don't think you are even anywhere close to it because looking at you, you have a lot more. The kind of energy in you, it's almost like you are getting started. And yeah. that is how you should see it. Mm -hmm. And getting started means you need to do a lot more work. Fortunately for you, you have a very solid foundation. You came into the limelight, um, like almost already noticed because mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. how you came in. Mm -hmm. uh, rough Town Records. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Into Unyano, Silver Plata Akra. It's one more underground than check, still in a row, semi underground, but one more one check. Do you understand that part? One more one check, command one check. And then because you can't have class with him, come there, come there. You can't have class with him, you can't have class with him, you can't have class with him. No, it is easy. Let me say it in English. What I'm saying is because there's small money. Confess, I'm a big deal, you'll be wrapping up. Because there's no money in the house, mm. it is easy for you not to risk. So what kind of a friend? What kind of a friend? I say, eh, hash. I say, I'm very respectful. No, I'm very respectful. I say, I say. Oh, no, 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 I'm respectful. Which is why probably, like you said, maybe, maybe uh, people, it will be difficult for. Maybe. No, I meant like people, mm. but okay. not, yeah. yeah. I'm respectful, yeah. okay. I'm coachable, yeah. I listen, I don't I'm talk happy. bad. I'm happy. I'm really happy. And I take mm. my career okay. serious. Okay, that's good. But please, as for the music, I don't want to tell this to Tiras or to tell it to you. Be consistent. Give us back to back. You see, this thing of music, eh, waiting three months or eight months to drop a song doesn't mean it's going to be a hit. Oh. Don't ever think that, oh, when, when they miss you and you drop a song and then you cry. No, it wasn't by choice. It was, I had to no, I know. I'm just handle making things, a, yeah. a point for the future. Oh, okay. That so if you can release even the song weekly, by weekly, monthly, every two months, every three months to cry now, there's this song that we were in now, you don't expect or you have least confidence in that is the song that is going to blow. Mm -hmm. And it is good because what say how you sustain your fan base. Fan base, you know, and you won't know. And if you man stage and you sing two songs, four songs, you are done. If I'm a promoter or I'm a, an event organizer, I will keep you but, but, last but, but, on, but on, on my list. Most most shows are like that, unless it is your own show. If it is a show that you've been booked to perform, you cannot perform 10 songs. Yeah, but what I'm saying, even if you are performing two songs, it has to be a song that is there. And before you can get a song that is there, it means you have like a chunk to choose from. Mm -hmm. If you say, I'm event promoter, I'm not from, but you'll be last on my list. Mm -hmm. Okay, before I say, I'm not from, I'm not from, I'm not from, I'm not from, as much as you can, put more energy, mm -hmm. do as many songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether, like I said, you told Michael this. Mm -hmm. they, they are all listening, they are all listening. Okay. If it's twice a month, number one is here. But I'm not from, I'm not from, all right, thank you so much, Kofi Asamoa. Now, let me move on to Nana Yaredu finally before we run away from here. Yes, Nana, um, question contribution to Fantana. Let me listen to what you have for her as well. Yes, yes, I mean, uh, but yeah, be fat. Uh -huh. okay, so me, my two cents, right? Mm -hmm. I think that people, or uh, yeah, people like Fantana mm -hmm. who come into the industry or music space free with free spirit mm -hmm. free mind mm -hmm. and they learn on the job when they settle you can't beat them mm -hmm. when they understand the art you can't touch them because like if we to be a kakra with you one so for you from afar it's like a mocking journey for you it's like oh she has no confidence oh she doesn't know her key oh she doesn't do this she doesn't know she doesn't know that 
when she gets to know all these things and she settles, you can't touch her. Mm-hmm. Do you see how she sounds on the dance audition? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Let's be honest here. Yeah. If you don't know Fantana, if you if 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 you black her out right now and you play this record mm. to anybody, it will be hard for the person to tell say, oh, this is a new girl. Yeah, yeah. And In fact, this song she really went hard. <laughs> I've listened to the song critically, oh. and I think she went hard See, on the song. I fear people. In the art, who don't who come into the space with zero knowledge, I fear them. All like us, ah, yeah, chill with one. It's not enough. Why you make me You are stuck in the the same ideas, and you keep revolving around it and around it and around it and around it and around it. For her, she's free spirited. She's coming to learn. She's seeing all your mistakes. You are laughing at her. You are saying all this, all that, all that. So she's going to go back and be picking on on it and be learning. And for people like that, they don't come and tell her, oh, me, see, I didn't know. You see, when you asked her about performance, she said, oh, I mark myself. You think you got somebody like her, she, she, she will tell you. Put the stage there and see something. So when when they settle, they are very dangerous. And when it comes to the, the songs, right, I noticed that artists like that, they begin to find their niche, even, even though they're not the ones writing. So when you write a song for her, she must, first of all, like it before she, she will sing it. Unlike the others who are in the game where they're not for like him, but you go fish sing and make you like him. Mm-hmm. And that's where the, the difference is. Mm-hmm. Because she for like him first. If she likes the song that you're singing to her, she's now the end user. Mm-hmm. So if she likes it and she's singing it, the other end user into a setting because they are, they are lost like her in the system. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I get it. I feel like we have to give her the chance to go through the process. To make the little little error, and she's working with um, s- and the best people I know. Like, mm. not because they are here, but mm. Zeda and Turas. They, they, they know all the loopholes. Yeah, especially Turas. Mm. You know, like very dangerous pen person mm. that people don't know. Mm. Mm. I know. Yeah. So if you are, if 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 you think well, that when, oh, when I was a big artist in Nkoko, he was <laughs> he was now coming up. Yeah. yeah. He was now learning how to rap. Sometimes I had to write write some of her rap, his his rap for him. I was a big star. Big star. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, writ, I've written songs for two hours before, you guys. And my wants out to cry. See, I But I'm not so fair. Because I'm fair with me. But say, so in, in, in wrapping up, right, I wish, I am happy, I'm happy that she's back. Um, like she said, the industry became a big slow, not because we wanted it to be slow, because of COVID. But you're finding your way, you know. We are all back into the game. Mm. And as she's back, the other female artists should, should be ready because the competition is, I know for sure that this, this is not the, the first song, mm. one and only, ah, a beba. Yeah. yeah. So what Kofi Asama was saying about consistency, he should get ready for us because it's, it's, okay. it's going to come. Okay. And it might not be a profession, it might be for fun for now mm-hmm. until a break comes mm-hmm. and when a break comes you mm-hmm. realize that the almost beginning for fun no? when they tell you what they want do first of all she doesn't really need you mm-hmm. two she's hustling her way to get a hit song mm-hmm. three she's not come to understand the art you can't touch those people okay thank you so much nana already well delivered now uh, Fatana, let, let's settle this let's settle this this music as a hobby music as a profession i'm still giving you the chance to clear the space what are you saying there <laughs> uh, i'm doing music as a profession but i feel like maybe the way that i am or the way that my personality is people will see it like maybe i'm doing it for fun or I'm doing it because I'm bored, mm-hmm. but that's just how I am. I'm very bubbly and stuff. So mm-hmm. even when I look like I'm not serious, that's actually when I'm the most yeah. serious. And with yeah. me, you'll never know when I'm serious or not serious. Mm. I yeah. just do like I just do it like mm. man, yeah. Mm. Now, w- when an artist releases a song, I get <coughs> to see some one or two people supporting. Yeah. In your case, it's been a long while you released the song. This latest release, are you seeing support from the female artists around? Yeah, um, all of them posted it. Wow. Oh, yeah, sister Fia, Fia, um, even uh, sorry, other one. Uh, there was a lot of them. They all reposted it. Even some of the male guys reposted it too, mm-hmm. and um, they were actually excited. They really liked what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Do you also do it for others? Uh, do you also share some songs from other artists? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you said it's mine, yes, I doubt. I do. <laughs> so, when was the last time you shared someone's work? Ah. Uh, um, uh, Kitty. 
Oh, okay. Which which of his songs? Uh, spiritual, the one that he did with Patty Rankin. Oh, okay. Yeah. You shared that. You were you were snapping with it, or you shared it? Which one? I was snapping with it, <laughs> <laughs> but that's sharing it. Well, well, yes. it, is, it is. It is. It is. That is very true. Now let, let's come to the production. Were you? This is your first time working with Master Gazi, I guess. Um, we I have a lot of songs with him, so I've been working with him from time. But mm-hmm. this is the first. No, actually, Backstabbers was produced by Garzi. Okay. Yeah. So okay. No Darling is my second song that mm-hmm. is out by mm-hmm. him. Yeah. Um, comparing him to maybe other producers we've worked we've worked with, how is it like in terms of um cooperation in the studio? Because I think I watched one of your videos yeah. when Turas and he, him, you guys were in the st- in the studio. How how was it like? Um, I have a relationship with him, like a bro- he's like a brother to me, and um, yeah he understands like how i am and everything so in the studio he knows like okay when to push me and then when to also give me a break with two ass as well so mm-hmm. we work together really easily mm-hmm. and um he's good at like getting my voice like how it's supposed to be and mm-hmm. mastering everything mm-hmm. so he's mm-hmm. really really good mm-hmm. yeah did you have a, a song with a featured artist yet yeah Shatawale. Mm-hmm. a song that you've released no it's it's actually my next song Oh, okay. Yeah. So your next song will be featuring Shatawali. Yeah. Apart from Shatawali, you don't have any song out with any artist on. No, I have some recorded, but they're not out yet. Or maybe I have some that I'm planning to put. Mm-hmm. Them I, on is yet. it a strategy that you do everything on your own, so you register the brand before any other person comes to support you on a song? Um, not really. But I just preferred to like now that I'm starting all over again. Basically, I just want everybody to know what my brand is and what I stand for, and then. I could carry on so then it's not like okay who is fantana or like what genre is she or what is she doing yeah mm, so you want to register the yeah. brand first before so after Sh- uh, shatawale do you have other names that you can give us hints of um that i want to put on mm-hmm. um i really like sark <laughs> i do and um uh stone boy as well yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so are there plans to get all these people yeah, and then I did a backstabber with uh, was with Larusso. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. dancer as well. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Larusso is a young guy coming yeah. up as well, and I know that very soon you get to the top guys, yeah. so that you can kill it with them because yeah. it is them that you need. When you get maybe one of them on a mm-hmm. on a joint, we are good to go. And um, maybe this will be my final question. And did you lose some fans, or did you feel you you lost some fans when you left? Uh, rough town record label no i feel like i have even more now how do you do that calculation um i don't know i just feel that even from like social media and stuff um i actually take time and read through all my like most of my messages and stuff Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. and um i don't feel like i lost anything i feel like the people who genuinely supported me when i was on rough town will always support me no matter where i'm going because yeah you're supporting i I ask because rough town introduced you yeah and you left them not in a cool (laughs) manner you you guys left with a little bit struggles some misunderstanding here and there and i don't know whether out of that some people also got mad at you and they left supporting you oh no that's not the case but i'm sure like um people would prefer that you know it wasn't as aggressive as it was but everything like we're all i'm cool now everybody is cool mm, now yeah i see yeah. good are we ready for performances is fantana ready or you are still polishing the act before you hit the stage finally i'm ready i'm serious you are ready <laughs> yeah. so the promoters should start coming <laughs> yeah they could come now all right talk to the fans <laughs> finally let's run away from here uh to my fantana army thank you for supporting me and you can follow me on all my social media networks at i am fantana mm-hmm. and um my youtube is just fantana as well yeah, yeah. it's it's rather a new channel yeah so fantana you guys should just go there subscribe because i know more works are coming yeah me i know i've heard everything more <laughs> works are coming <laughs>